Hello everyone, so our tutorial for today is on how Dual Ojo works. So in my previous video about anime Kaizuku, so for an example, the animes are in there are usually Dual Ojo types or the options of Dual Ojo. So if you're gonna ask me what is Dual Ojo, Dual Ojo or a type of audio tracks that provide English dub and Japanese dub in anime. So for an example, um, let's see. Let's go to my animes. Example this one. So we are using movies and TV player by Windows 10. So I put this. Spirits are kind of like carbon dioxide. So you're saying they're poisonous? So as you can see, in here there are two options which is English dub and Japanese dub. And they are also providing subtitle if ever you are gonna use a Japanese dub audio track. So um let's see another episode if this is also similar. <laughs> So as you can see in there, there are instances that when English dub and Japanese dub um, titles are being swapped and you need to um, choose whether you want a dub or a Japanese dub and you only need to put the English subtitle. So, so okay, let's see another um, anime and this time we are gonna use um, DLC player if on how we configure the audio tracks and the subtitle man test really sucks so as you can see, it was an English dub and on the upper left corner, you can see audio and then click on the audio track to change to in from English dub to Japanese dub and then on the side of the audio, you can see a video where you can see the subtitle track. So one way also on changing the audio track and subtitle is by on right clicking on your mouse and choosing the audio and subtitle. To change so this time I'm gonna show you one thing about anime Kaizuku if you are choosing English sub sometimes they are not showing the subtitle if you are not gonna choose the in the subtitle track so you need to click on the subtitle track on your media player and choose the subtitle of the anime that you downloaded Uh, that's it for my tutorial for today and I hope I help you with your problem. Thank you so much for watching.